This is a volcano. So is this. So is this! Whoa! Actually, volcanoes are supposed to do this. It's one way for the inside of the Earth to get to the outside. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Well, uh, maybe not. I said, uh, maybe not. Hey, hey, hold on, hey! Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy, brought to you by Molten Lava. It's hot, it's rock, but it doesn't roll. You and I live on the Earth's crust, a thin layer of solid rock that's all around the Earth. Now, what's underneath the Earth's crust is different. It's melted rock, it's molten rock. Now, how do we know that? Because they're volcanoes. Let's say this loaf of bread is like the Earth. See, it's round like the Earth. And just like the Earth, it's got a thin, hard crust. But unlike the Earth, we can easily cut through it here in the lab. All we need is this table and this laboratory chainsaw. See, it's got a thin crust, just like the Earth. Although the crust is thin, it's thick enough to sustain life. All living things, all animals and plants, including you and me, we all live on top of the Earth's crust. So that's good. Mmm, that is good. Now, how do we know that what's underneath the Earth's crust is different than what's on top? Well, you ever heard of volcanoes? So, let's take a look now at the big ball Earth of science. See, it's surrounded by a thin, hard crust. And everything is on top of the crust. Even the oceans are sloshing around on top of the crust. Isn't that wild? Let's take a look at what's inside. Here we go. There you go. There's the inside of the Earth. You got your core right here. That's solid iron. Then there's an outer core. That's iron and other metals. And then this part's called the mantle. It's gooey like hot tar. Then out here, that's the crust. It's thin and cool. The core, that's around 1,500 degrees Celsius. The mantle, that's around 1,200 degrees Celsius. I mean, that's way over 2,000 degrees. And then the crust, that's cool and hard as a rock. Now, even though the Earth's crust is really thin, we've never been able to drill all the way through it to the molten rock of the Earth's mantle. That's why to scientists, to scientists like you, volcanoes are so important. They give us sort of a window into what's underneath the Earth's crust. I think